Hi folks, this is Peter McPhail with United Country Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Today we are going to look at some drone footage of an 800 acre parcel located in the town of Dedham, Maine. And this 800 acre parcel, it has a 28 lot approved subdivision as part of the 800 acres. Now this, um, the 28 lots really only takes up roughly 100 acres of land. So there is certainly room for expansion. Out of those 28 lots, five of the lots are on a town maintained paved road. So you don't have to worry about plowing snow in the winter time. And then 23 of the lots are on an association road. So those would have to be, there's gonna be an association formed for maintaining the road. That particular section has uh, its gravel road frontage. Now these lots, uh, mostly hardwood forest. The lots mostly hardwood forest. There is some pine, some, some uh, pine, red pine. The uh, elevations run anywhere from 300 feet to 700 feet uh, above mean sea level. And the lot sizes range from 1.85 acres to 8.41 acres. Now, use the, the subdivision takes up roughly 100 acres, so like I said, plenty of room for expansion. There, a very well thought out uh, plan. There's open space and conservation easements. So whatever you build for your dream home, it's gonna have plenty of protection in place to uphold the value of your property. Now the current owner has put in the infrastructure, has run electricity in, and put in the fire retention pond, which is part of the requirements for a subdivision, especially in a somewhat of a rural town, although we're not too far from Bangor and Ellsworth. We'll talk about that in, in just a bit. But next I wanna to talk to you about the declaration of restrictions on the property. So if you've ever been to Maine, you know, you'll see if you've done any, spent any time driving around the state of Maine, you know, you can drive down a street and see a beautiful home and then drive just a little bit further and see a property that's in pretty rough shape. So how do we avoid those types of situations? Well, this property here in Dedham, to uphold the value of your property, there is a, uh, some declaration of restrictions in place. And this subdivision is set up for single family homes and no commercial activity. And then the actual subdivision lots, not talking the land outside of the subdivision lots, but the lots themselves cannot be further subdivided. And there's no mobile homes allowed. Um, the homes have a minimum square footage of 1400 square feet, and that does not include the basement of the house. Um, 25, uh, sorry, 20 foot setback from the street and from the sideline of the property. Um, don't laugh at this one, but this is part of the co protective covenants. No junk laying around the house, junk cars, no unregistered vehicles. The exterior siding can't be sheathing or asphalt. So the it, things will be kept up nicely there. And there are some buffer areas as well in the subdivision. Uh, so next I wanna talk about the town of Dedham. But these restrictions, folks, is just to uphold the value of your property. So when you do build here, you can rest assured that it's gonna be a nice community. So let's talk a little bit about the town of Dedham. Settled in 1810 by Nathan Phillips, the town of Dedham has about 1,700 people. Now, Nathan Phillips built on Phillips Lake a halfway house, which was a stagecoach stop in the 1800s for travelers coming from Bangor to the city of Ellsworth. So halfway between the two cities, uh, Nathan had this property built and the travelers from the stagecoach would stop. They would get themselves some food, some uh, spirits and some lodging, and then move on to Ellsworth. Today, the uh, property is now the Lucerne Inn, which is a 200 year old inn, has around 31 guest rooms really fine dining, also has a pub there, views of Lucerne Lake, which used to be called Phillips Lake. If you haven't been there, please check it out when you come to visit us in Maine. That would be a great place for you to stay. So the Lucerne Inn is about five minutes from the property. Now across the street from the Lucerne Inn is the Lucerne Golf Club. And that is a nine hole course, really nice views, just like the inn has nice views, the golf course is the same thing. 
nice course to play, beautiful views of the lake and the surrounding hills. Now from the 800 acres itself, you are within walking distance to Green Lake. Now Green Lake has about 3,100 acres of uh, cold water to recreate on. The fishing there, you have brook trout, you have lake trout and salmon. Jenkins Beach, which is a beach area there, I believe there's a boat launch. So you can have your water sports and all the fun things you like to do. If you don't like to fish, then certainly you can soak up some sun there at Jenkins Beach. And uh, you know, let's, now let's talk about the city of Ellsworth just to the east of the property. So the city of Ellsworth is the county seat of Hancock County. There's a little less than 8,000 people there. Very diverse community. You have a boat launch into Union River Bay. So if you'd like to get out into the salt water, it's right there. Get out into Union River Bay and into the Atlantic, and you could boat over to Bar Harbor, which we'll talk about here in just a little bit. The, you have a L.L. Bean factory outlet there, a lot of little quaint shops in the, in the downtown area of Ellsworth. And the restaurants there, you can tell I like to eat because some of my favorite restaurants are in the city of Ellsworth. You have Pro Vendors, which has phenomenal food. And then Finn's Irish Pub, a lot of comfort food there. And one little hidden gem, I think, is uh, Josie's Country Store and Cafe. Their food is amazing. And then if you like cheesecake, there is a special place there in Ellsworth to get some of the best cheesecake in the county. Now, if you continue through Ellsworth for roughly another uh, 30 minutes, you will get into Bar Harbor in Acadia National Park. If you've never been there, that, that's on, that has to be on your to-do list. So Acadia National Park, you have the carriage trails, um, all the different hiking trails. The scenery is amazing. You will not be disappointed. Take a drive up on top of Cadillac Mountain, look out across the ocean. Spectacular, folks. And of course, in, in Bar Harbor, you, you're going to have some good restaurants there as well. So that is from the, e from the east of the property. Let's talk about, to the west of the property, the city of Bangor. With over 33,000 people, the city of Bangor is the county seat of Penobscot County. Now, it's also the economic hub of the county. Penobscot County's population is a little over 150,000. The city of Bangor, just about anything you can think of. Restaurants, um, you've got Darling's Waterfront Pavilion, which has some excellent concerts from big name rock concerts, big name country concerts. Definitely a place to check out. Uh, multiple hospitals in Bangor, so really good health care. And then you have Bangor International Airport. You can get direct flights into Bangor from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, LaGuardia, uh, Chicago, New Newark, New Jersey, multiple locations in uh, Florida, Washington, DC, Philadelphia, um, maybe some other locations. So, you know, flight access into Bangor is excellent. And so look folks, this 800 acres in Dedham, Maine is a has great investment potential with the with the subdivision and all the additional land. Perfect location between Ellsworth and Bangor. So you got golfing, you got dining, you know, what else do you need? Fishing, you got the lakes nearby. So give us a call today. My name is Peter McPhail with the United Country Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions on this property? You can reach me at 207-794-4338. Have a great day.